it's time for the Craigslist mission. Remember, the producer sets me a hypothetical dilemma. Mm. I find a gadget that claims to help and then enlist an expert to tell me if that gadget does what it claims to do. Yeah. OK? Yeah. All right. So, um, today's mission. What if you needed something to make your wine taste better? Well, mm. let me introduce you to the Kelvin K2. It's kind of like a fitness band for your wine. You pair it with an app, OK? Then you type in what wine you're drinking, Merlot. Nice. Then you uh, put that onto the bottle and it'll tell you when you get to the exact temperature, the right temperature, to drink your wine. So, basically, this band tells your phone when it's wine o'clock. <laughs> It's actually quite decently priced, isn't it? Yeah, it's only 20 quid, and it says it gives you a taste and notes at sommelier level, it claims, offers you food pairing recommendations, and it tells you the best possible glass to drink each wine from. 20 quid, I mean, money well spent, when you say? What do you think, John? Well, I think it's good in one way. You can take the temperature of your wine without opening the bottle, so mm. you don't have to sort of dip a traditional thermometer into it, so that's good. Yeah. Anyway, to test this rather quirky gadget, the producer said, find an expert quaffer. But Georgie Lambrini Barrett was busy that day, wasn't you, Georgie? Yeah. So, I found a proper posh Frenchman working in a proper posh restaurant. Hello, good evening. My name is Adrian, and I'm the sommelier in the Michelin Star restaurant de Purnels in Birmingham. So, me this evening, I chose to drink a red Rioja. So, the Calvin tube connects with the current temperature of the wine, and it's going to tell you the perfect temperature of service. This is something really important in my job because we can't really serve a red wine too cold or too hot. For example, this red wine needs to be served around 8 and 10 degrees, but the app gonna tell you exactly what you need, 8 and 10 degrees. So as well, the second thing is the wine pairing. That means the food to go with the wine, which is mainly my job, but I was really impressed because it is Rioja, as I'm going to tell you, a big meat or a stew or a beef or a chocolate which I think is really good sparing to go with a red Rioja. So, I think this gadget is really fine for people at home who want to learn a little bit about the wine. I think for the price, it's really nice because it's exactly the same that if you have a sommelier at home, the only thing that this app can't do and I can do for you is to open the wine and you, you just have to drink it. Cheers. Oh. I think Adrian might have done himself out of a job there. Yeah, yeah, he he, he kind of liked it, didn't he? Yeah. I have to say, I used to just drink my white wine from the fridge and my red wine room temperature, but I've learnt something. That I should be more careful about the exact temperature I'm drinking my wine. Yeah. There are some red wines that uh, need to be chilled slightly, but the fridge will be simply too cold. And are they going to do a K3 for beer? That's what I want to know. Well, you can only hope, John. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way the producer stuck that sort of cliched accordion music at the back of the film, just in case we couldn't tell he was French. <laughs>